we are going to go over solving one-step inequalities with multiplication and division. My learning target is I can write and solve one-step inequalities for real-world situations I can prove if an inequality statement is true. So solving one-step inequalities, we are going to write the inequality and identify the variable. Our goal is to isolate the variable. And to isolate the variable, we need to do the inverse or opposite operation. Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other side. If you, this is new, if you divide by a negative, you need to reverse the inequality sign. And then you need to check and graph your answer. So the inverse of multiplication is division, and the inverse of division is multiplication. All right, let's do some examples. So we, uh, x is being multiplied by negative 3, so we are going to divide by negative 3, which also means we need to flip the symbol. So this is x is less than negative 33 divided by negative 3, which is positive 11, so x is less than 11. So I'm just going to choose 10 to check my answer. So negative 3 times 10 is negative 30. Is negative 30 greater than negative 33? That is correct. And then we're going to graph our answer. All right, example number 2. We're going to multiply both sides by 8 because x is being divided by 8. So 12 times 8 is 96, and then it's negative 96 because of um, it's a negative being multiplied by a positive. I'm going to choose negative 100. So negative, or actually I'm going to choose a number that's div divisible by 8. So negative 160 divided by 8 is less than negative 12. So negative 8 goes into it 20 times. Is negative 20 less than negative 12? Yes, it is. Going to graph this. All right, number one, remember you can stop this at any time, do the problems, and then check with me. So x is being multiplied by 4, so I'm going to divide both sides by 4. Negative 24 divided by 4 is negative 6, so x is greater than or equal to Negative 6, I'm going to choose 0 as my plug-in answer. So 4 times 0, is that greater than or equal to negative 24? Is 0 greater than or equal to negative 24? Yes, it is. That is true. So I'm going to graph it. Close circle this time and anything greater than negative 6. All right, this one's a little trickier. So we're going to say that x is being multiplied by 3 halves. So we're going to divide by 3 halves. And the way we do that is to flip the fraction. So I'm going to multiply this by 2 thirds because it's keep change flip. So this is x is less than 
24 over 3, so that's x is less than 8. So I'm just going to choose 0 because that's an easy answer to plug in. So 3x, or 3 times 0, divided by 2 is less than 12. So this is 3 times 0 is 0. 0 divided by 2 is 0. And then this is true. My goodness. All right, number three. We are going to divide by negative 8, so that means we need to flip this. Negative, or 32 divided by negative 8 is negative 4. And I'm going to rewrite this because I like my x to be on the left side. So something greater than negative 4 is 0. So I'm going to do 32. Is that greater than negative 8 times 0? 32, is that greater than 0? Yes, it is, so that is true. Then I'm going to graph it. All right, number 4. Multiply by 4 on both sides because x is being divided by 4. 72 times 4 is 288. I'm going to rewrite this because I like to, my x to be on the left side. So something greater than 288. I'm going to pick 300. So 72. Well, let's pick something divisible by 4. 320, so I'm going to do 320. I, I'm doing that because this is a 4, and I want it to be able to divide um, well. And I know that 32 is, um, divided by 4 is 8, so this will be 80. So 72 is less than or, great, or equal to 320 divided by 4. So 72 is less than or equal to 80. That is true. Close circle, not direction. Number five, I'm going to divide each of these by 12 because x is being multiplied by 12. x is less than 12. So I'm going to choose 10 as my number because that's less than 12. So 12 times 10 is that less than 144. 120 less than 144, that is true. And then I'm going to graph it. All right, 6, x is being divided by 2, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. So this is x is greater than or equal to negative 32. So I'm going to pick a number that is easily divisible by 2 that is greater than negative 32. Let's do negative 30. So is negative 15 greater than or equal to negative 16? Yes, that is true. All right, number seven, we've got a word problem. It says, 
Sherlock received 10 bags of dog treats. They expire in 14 months. At least how many bags can he eat a month? So he has 10 bags we want to know per month, and he needs to eat more than or equal to what to eat all of those. So I'm going to divide both sides by 10. So x is greater than or equal to 1.4 bags. So I'm going to use 2 to check my answer. So 10 times 2, is that greater than or equal to 14? 20 is greater than or equal to 14, so this is true. And then I'm going to graph it. Number 8. Kaden must practice her clarinet for 400 minutes. If she practices for six weeks, how many minutes does she have to practice a week at least? So she needs to practice for six weeks. How many minutes for each week to get exactly equal to or more than 400 minutes? We're going to divide both sides by six. Six times six is 36. So it looks we're gonna, we're gonna get six, um, 66.6 minutes repeating. So something greater is 70. So I'm gonna check with 76 times 70, is that greater than or equal to 400? So 70 times 6, it's 420. Is that greater than or equal to 400? Yes, it is. And then we are going to graph it. All right, thank you for watching.